It really is based on a story in the Bible where Jesus stands on the shore after feeding the 5,000 men and then families and children and he turns to his disciples and he tells them to get in their boat. The Bible records that they get to the middle of the lake and it's in the middle of the lake that actually a storm begins to brew and they begin to question and they begin to doubt the instructions they were given. As I read that not so long ago, I felt God challenge me that many, many people, many Christians, they give up and they quit right about in the middle. In the middle is where the excitement of the shore is not anymore and there's no fun anymore, like on the shore breaking the bread. Now you're just rowing. You just have to get on with it. The middle is the place in your marriage where it's not as exciting as it used to be and now you're just in the middle or you're just in the middle of raising those kids or you're just in the middle of the business that once was really exciting and things were happening but now you just gotta kinda stick it through. The middle's where so many people quit, where so many people lose faith, where so many people like the disciples begin to fear, begin to doubt. But you know what I've discovered? I've discovered that there's a miracle that can happen right there in the middle. For the disciples, the miracle was that Jesus revealed himself to them in a whole nother dimension. He began to walk on the water. And I believe if we have our eyes open in the middle, we have a revelation of Jesus that we don't see on the shore. We get a revelation of his power and his goodness. We get a revelation of his faithfulness and we find a courage to push on to the next shore that is destined that we are made to be going to and made to have a ministry at. And so I really am writing this book to say to every single person, business person, family, mom, kid, everybody, that hey, in the middle, whatever that looks like for you, don't quit. Keep going, open your eyes. I believe this book's gonna be a gift. It's, it's a carrying on from Turn Around God, but with a, with a message that I think will pick so many people up that maybe have stopped prematurely.